In this lesson, we're going to show you how to connect the Vistica 3D system to a this engine. So the first thing that we need to do is to open up Artist 3. And we can see from the scene tree over here that the scene tree is currently empty. Uh, and in order to import some ticker-specific scenes, we have to click the Import button from the main menu. If you have installed Visticca 3D at the default path, some example archives will be available from this folder. There will be one uh, archive available for VisArtist 2 and one for VisArtist 3. In order to see the archives in this folder, we have to select Archives from this drop-down menu. Now we see that there is one Vis3 example archive available. We select it and then we click the Import Archive button. Now eventually we will see that the scene tree will change over here and the ticker scenes are imported. And in order for the scenes to be available from the Vis Ticker 3D applications, we need to put the Vis system on air. And then we click the on air button from the main menu. Now the system is on air and we can minimize the Vis Artist application. And then we can open Vis Ticker Wizard. We do that by double clicking the desktop icon. And now we're going to connect the uh, Vis Ticker Wizard to the defined Vis Engine. Now, the Vis Engine that we want to use is running on the same uh, machine as the Vis Ticker 3D applications. So we just leave the Vis Engine hostname at localhost. From the upper right corner, you can see that the you can see the status of the connection. It's currently not connected, but by clicking the connect button here, we will connect the ticker system to the specified Vis engine. So as we click the connect button, you see that the uh, status changes up here, and the uh, ticker system is now successfully connected to the specified Vis engine.